It is a very fine moment to be here and to be able to show your own artwork from 77 years. Five, 57, 57 years, you're right, right. So here in the Zebra, this museum, I have the opportunity sh to show several periods. I started in 1960 and was a self-made man. So I learned everything by myself. The Garden of Bali means uh, the garden of the, the boss, the master. So my wife called me Bali, a Hebrew, the name of my master. Black and white, women, very difficult today, for example, in the United States and in the rest of the world to show a black and a white woman together on one picture. I could not show that in, in New York, it was impossible, still today. So we live with a lot of taboos, still we are not so free in our mind as we thought. And that's what is in T's picture here. What you see it is also my wife. She got a Magan David and she cut her hair off. And this is a very symbolic picture of, the, of course of the Holocaust. I have only two pictures of the Garden of Bali. In 1986 it is the lost paradise. It's a dream I had. You have here a king and a queen in a hall with snakes. But an alien came and brought these people a new life. So the possibility of transformation, the mutation is anyway thematic of my work. The only constant what you have in life is the transformation, is the changement. So here very fine uh, uh, prints and a word here with 26 snakes owned by those, those people was who my models. In the other part a period of 1977, made in California on the beach, I told it's petrified bodies, homage à Pompeii, you know. In 79, the Vesuve had a big explosion in Ita Italy and 10,000 people were killed in a few minutes, even a few seconds. They were stuck. And it can happen every time we are living on a fireball and we think we will live and everything will stay. It is not, not the same, not, it will, everything will change very soon, it is a process. And this is here as sleeping bodies but they are petrified. We, in, in my eyes they are living but waiting for another time. Good. So let's go to the other rooms. Germany. And this obelisk is the place where the American rockets were, the Persian rockets. In this place, the German fate the Romans and put them definitely out of the country. In the same place here, also where these beautiful Excelsteine is the place where the mysticism of the Nazis starts. Mr. Meyer, who created a completely esoteric theory um, for the Nazis, and it was here. So, very interesting text here. Come to me. But be careful with me, because everything here I did for you. So these texts can be interpreted in different ways, of course. 
Okay, we will come later to the other part of the exhibition, but let's have a look to the Entim boxes, what we have here. Some people called my pictures erotic, I don't know. But they are intimate pictures, so I put them in boxes. So I call them my intimate boxes. So di different years, 1986, 1976, uh, 19... Uh, 82, well, here, last year, 1972, 985, 75, 76, 72. So the little li li highlights of my work of, well, what people could think erotic. Erotic for me is a way to see, a way to learn, a way to appreciate. I hate pornography because pornography is just bad pictures and I hate bad pictures. I cannot tell many about this picture, but I will remember, please read the book of uh, Clarissa Pincola Estes, who fell about the woman who runs with the wolves very interesting book, a very, very important book, where you can feel the strongness of the woman. The danger is positive. So here, the symbols of what we think, taboos, for example, danger. And it's a big respect to the nature, of course, to the women, to the creation. So I put here, Beautiful pictures on wood, wood mirror, printed very fine. Here, a uh, symbol of narcissism, narcissus. Here, very, very fine piece of wood with fine art printed. Yeah, I'm very happy about this exhibition. You can't maybe not see that here, but it's also very erotic. It's a tree in Dizengoff. Uh, street in Tel Aviv in 2017. We are in a very, very beautiful place. Photography needs light, but sometimes, as we saw in the woods, we need dark. We have a lot of pictures in our mind. We create pictures. And here, for example, is a very beautiful picture of what I call Gaia, from the Great Mother, the thumb of the Great Mother. But in reality, it's not a thumb, it's your two bags put on each other, and these two bags makes a new picture. So we create all the time pictures. Sometimes it's too good to, it is good to be, get rid of these pictures, other pictures, bad pictures. The cross. It is uh, difficult for women to accept that God is a man. Everything in the religions is man, is masculine. It's a shock for a woman. So here I photographs my own wife in a cross as the feminine Christ, but also a symbol of I don't want to see the things in life, what happens. I don't want to see that. But also it is the symbol of the look inside, the very, very deep look in the heart, in the unconscious, because this is our treasure. Here we have a very interesting picture of the golem. The golem is a story in Prague for the Rabbi Löw. Rabbi Löw wanted a monster who helps him to clean his house, so he made of earth, 
figure and he, with a special form, he put life into his sculpture. And in reality, this is the, the beginning of Frankenstein, for example. It is also the beginning of the um, story of Goethe, of the Zauberlehrling. You know? Remember uh, the, uh, the pupil of the master who says, take care, uh, I'm going out, uh, don't, don't play with these uh, magic forms. And then all the water came, because also here the golem uh, had the um, to, to bring water, but nobody tells him to stop to bring water. So it was a big overflowing. Golem means in Hebrew uh, dum, dumb, uh, stupid. And it's also the name of the wom of for women. So this anti feminism were very, very early already. So this is only uh, to remember that here. Technical, I when I wanted to play, but uh, to, to tell about it, it's a little bit difficult. This is the technical camera. It is uh, the woman who is, is here with plaster, and uh, this is a, by hand in a dark room a solarization, so the classical, really solarization, and then in the dark room with with uh, 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 painted, not developed uh, classically, but by hand here. Uh, we have a brush, you see, uh, the picture comes slowly, and then uh, with the technique of marouflage, uh, mount on wood. Okay, 1960, one of my first pictures. Two models with me on the sea in Belgium, in Van Dyne. It was cold, rainy, grey, as sometimes always in Belgium. But I remember these courageous models who give their time and love to be in the sand. Yeah. And here we have other picture from very, very early beginning, 67, the Metamorphose, or my picture, homage on Kafka. Kafka, also a very interesting person who creates the, these, in a dream, in a story about uh, the Metamorphose, uh, also from Ovid, of course. Um, <coughs> The, my my uh, series here of photogram. Photograms where the models lay on the dark, in the dark room, on sensitive, sensitive paper, photographic silver paper. And I was there on the ceiling with my enlarger and I and project negatives of insects. This is the, the first picture I, I have in my collection because the other were all stolen in a, after an exhibition in Frankfurt. Here I started with triptychs. I love triptychs, also with my method mounted on, also picture on canvas and mounted on wood with this marouflé technique. Why there is my work called Mutation? Because our, all her, our life is a mutation, is a transformation. In 60 seconds our heart beats 70 times. We breathe 60 times in one second, in one minute I mean. And in these one minute we have 25 billions of red blood cells who are transformed. We have every second cells who died and who renew. If we don't accept the changement, we cannot live. So here also one of my pictures of the mutation 
with beautiful text of Lao Tzu. This work was also made in the BMW studios, where I was a specialist for art cars and old cars, and also new cars of BMW. It's a fantastic opportunity to have such a big room to show my room of Bluebeard, Barbe Bleu. In every man, there is a Bluebeard. In every man, there is something mysterious. If we want it or we want it not, in every man, there is a Bluebeard. But in every woman, is also a weak woman. Therefore, my appeal, woman, be strong. Say no. Try to find your inner power, your inner source, who is so strong. The wild woman, the wise woman, the healer. And then the Bluebeard have no power anymore. It's a beautiful story, what we hear as a child, but we didn't understand what it means. So here, the room of Bluebeard, with all these women who were curious, who were curious, who were dependent of the man. They're full of passion, but they forgot the inner power. Here, another work of mutation, two triptychs. Adam, Eva, the child, the snake, snake here for me, always wisdom. Beautiful technique, also canvas on wood with marouflage technique. Sororization, classic, analog work. Bereshit. Bereshit is the first word in the Torah, the Old Testament. In the beginning, we have 30 meters in the library in Tel Aviv, what means in the beginning. What is the beginning? So here you have also the transformation or a mutation of the fish. If you turn it over, it is a bird and two hands, you see a hat. For me, the fish is important because the fish is the symbol of the fertility, also the symbol of the woman, a symbol of the changement. In the Christian religion is the symbol of the Christ, Jesus Christ. But for me, it is life. Because if we don't have fish anymore, because our fish are all poisoned in our oceans, we will not live anymore. It's the same as the Indians told, if we have cut, we will have cut the last tree. It is our end. But it's much more dramatic if we will not have fish anymore, and it is almost so far, we will not be able to survive. Another picture of my mutation, a triptych, the same what I told before, when we have cut the last tree, it's over with our population. But also already in the Torah was written by Yesaya. People, if you continue to think like that, to live like that, so materialistic, you will be like a dry oak and a garden without water. And I see that we were capable to destroy in the last hundred years our earth. Never, 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 people were so able 
to destroy so quickly and compact the whole culture and nature. It was already an, an appeal what we maybe did understand. The ear. It's so important to, to be able to listen. It's so important to be to know what this quietness means. We are too loud here on earth, much too loud. And by the way, already children have very big problems with their ears. They don't hear anymore. But here is the ear, the inner ear, to be as an antenna, to be aware, to kept the messages for us who are important. In the 90s, 91, I had the idea to make again, uh, remember to Jan van Dijk, as born in Ghent, as a Flemish artist, I have a big respect to our Flemish big masters and Jan van Eyck is such a master. And so I had here not only Eva and Adam, but Adam Katmon, what is before Adam, and who was women and men together, and also Lilith here. So this is also part of my work here um, with handmade solarization in the dark room. Also here, uh, in south of France in 90, no, in 81, uh, with women with mods, just women that I met there, who asked to be my model. Um, later on, uh, this, this picture got a completely different symbol. You, you don't think of it immediately when you take the picture. And here the symbol, or mostly on the pictures on the right here, are, are inner guards. Most of the people don't have guards. They let everything come to themselves. They are, the doors and the windows are open. Everybody can, can come in the house. So we have to be careful. We have to protect ourselves from dangers, from things that come from the outside. We don't have to accept everything. We don't have to say, <gasps> we don't need feelings before we don't want them. And the inner guards, <coughs> you see that in all big cultures, you know, these are the guards on the outside, they can be sphinx or lions or monsters or dragons. But the inner guards are here on our shoulders. The left shoulder is our feelings, the anima in, the, in, in our soul. And the right is our intellect, the animus. So before we we react on something, what happens, we should always ask our guards, do I need it? Do I, have, do I need this effect? Do I need this emotion? Or can I react with my brain and my feelings in the same time? So the inner guards is for me very important. It is what I used a lot in the psychotherapy with my clients. This is not an elephant, no. It is the beauty of nature, the beauty of creation. It can be mountains, can be earth, can be everything, can be an animal. Okay, it's a navel here, the belly bottom. But you can dream in it, you can see everything what you want. So I hope you have a very big fun to look at my pictures. And I tell you something, please, beware our culture. Our European culture is so important. 
We have so much to give and so much to teach and to give people. Thank you. Jean-Marie Botka.